So today we are here at the Center for New Medicine with one of my absolute favorite doctors of all time, Dr. Keneally. She is, I mean, you do so many things so well, everything from human optimization. This is, you know, a lot of your patients here are cancer patients and you're doing things that I've never seen before. And I'm so excited to show everyone some of the treatments that you offer here and some of the things that I've done today. Um, so yeah, come on in and we'll take a look. This is brand new FDA approved breast imaging. It stands for quantitative transmission. And the beauty about breast imaging is it's always been an uncomfortable process. Women always complain to me when they go get their mammogram that they're pressing on them, squeezing them, and really kind of injuriousness. But this is no radiation. There is no dyes. It's purely the patient dips their breast, each breast one at a time, in water with a magnet holding it, and it's doing all these incredible measurements, looking for abnormal tumors, masses, cysts, or anything. So for women who have extremely dense breasts, which is women under 40 have very dense breasts, this is ideal imaging for them. I did this earlier today. I mean, it was painless. It was so easy. I can't wait to get the results. I mean, as we talk about all the time, we want to get ahead of anything, right? So the more information that you have in the early year that you could catch something if it were to happen, uh, you know, for me, that's the route I want to take. And I think it's the best route is just really looking deep into your health. So I did this. Um, I'm so excited to get the results. And it was Extremely, I mean, honestly, it was enjoyable. It was super easy. And I love that there's no radiation. This uses four different types of energy to help raise your voltage. And it also runs specific uh, energy recipes for different types of ailments. So they have specific uh, recipes for like different types of cancer, inflammation, organ support, uh, things specific like candida, um, just about anything you can think of, there's a, a recipe for that on there. And so usually the recipes are about 15 or 20 minutes and you just relax in here and absorb. And love that. What we're doing today is we're going to check your voltage. Okay, good. Okay, so um, the reason why that's so important is because we are very much electrical beings. We are. Um, every single cell in your body requires 25 millivolts just to function. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't have 25 millivolts, then what happens is that membrane around the cell gets thicker, oxygen and nutrients can't get in, waste can't get out. Mm -hmm. Well, that's inflammation. Mm -hmm. So I'm measuring these points called Rista points. Mm -hmm. And these are like information hotspots on the meridians. So what this is going to do is this is going to give us an overall energetic reading of mm -hmm. your body. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to check, uh, go ahead and hold that for me, uh, pull up. I'm going to check polarity, so mm -hmm. we're going to go to your circuit breakers. We're just going to see which ones are on, which ones are off, and then we'll do some detective work and figure out why. How do you turn them back on if they're off? Uh, that's what we're going to do the next hour. That's what okay. we're going to do the biomodulator pump down, which uh, uses scalar energy, mm -hmm. and we're going to repolarize you. So we are here at Dr. Keneally's office and I've been doing incredible, incredible therapies and diagnostic tools. So you guys know that I do thousands of biomarkers every quarter, I do imaging, but we're looking at something different here. We're not looking at blood biomarkers. What we just did with some of these technologies and the need testing was looking at like information. So the way I'm thinking about it is before something changes on your blood work, it would change at an informational level. And that's what we were looking for. So looking for imbalances there. So next one we do an EBU, which I absolutely love, uh, is essentially a very high dose ozone. It kind of looks a little bit like a dialysis machine. You have one line going in, one line going out. And ozone um, can be really great for detoxification. It can be good 
for um, like I've done standard dose ozone anytime if I feel a little bit sick um, because it can help to kill like bacteria and viruses, but great for detox and for a longevity protocol for Ibu. It also helps to oxygenate the blood um, and just, yeah, really maintain good detox. Um, and so we're gonna do Ibu today and we're gonna get it on camera for you. So you can uh, follow along with all the treatments that we're doing. I mean, in general, I don't know of a more impressive facility. I mean, this is this is a cancer center and it's very progressive, very holistic, very full, whole body, whole picture. Um, and I want people to know about the center also because if you're in a position that you need that type of treatment, I mean, this would be the first place I would go. Um, we're doing some diagnostic stuff, you know, health optimization stuff, but I mean, this place is so special for anyone that is in need of treatment for cancer. Ibu is good for mole, but you know, it's not going to be necessarily curative, right. okay? But, but Ibu is very effective because it is, you're basically running everything through this filter and then ozone kills viruses, bacteria, fungi, mold, neutralizes toxicity, helps your immune system. So all of those things. Yeah. And it just, it's a big thing of neutralizing toxicity. So I've learned over these years that people will change their eating, but they won't move the 800 muscles they have every day. Yeah. And so that's something you have to remind patients constantly about that you must move you must you must exercise and because back then people were more active then less so now yeah okay because so much of life is automated fixing a patient try to avoid medications try to avoid surgeries and unfortunately the medical system is all about what drug can we give you and what surgery or both yeah and, and we have to, we can really prevent all chronic diseases if every doctor took a preventive, proactive, precise, personalized approach to disease, okay? And really try to de-diagnose and try to optimize every single patient and hold the patient accountable, Yeah. okay? Because a lot of times, today a doctor is married to their EMR and they have perfunctory questions they need to ask the patient, and the perfunctory test, whether it's a mammogram or a cologuard or colonoscopy or those things, and they never have time to ask the patients, how are you? No. How are you doing? How, tell me about your life. And so, so we have a reactive process and we're at a boiling point in our culture of humanity, honestly. Totally. Because Absolutely. everyone is sick. The babies are sick, the elementary kids are sick, the teenagers are sick, and 30-year-olds are here with cancer. Yeah. And so obviously, I always say the, the babies, the young people are the canaries in the mine that we have a 911, but no one is, I don't wanna say no one, because there's many people listening, observing, trying to make revolutionary changes in our yeah. society. So there are, but it should be a grand approach. Like everyone needs to get involved yeah. because we cannot allow what's happening today. I know, it's, it's mind blowing. Yeah. It's mind blowing. It really we're is. living in 2024, but we're really living a very, very, I mean, complete, we're like in the world of opposites right now. I know. Okay, honestly. Yeah. The, my path, it's more my path that taught me how not to do conventional medicine and to always explore and educate yourself to the nth degree on what you can do that won't have a tragic downside. Yeah. Okay? And because you can't undo a surgery, you can't undo yeah. certain things. Now, you can with the medication, I mean, my medication, I couldn't undo what it did because it happened in utero, which is your most profound time of growth and development. Yeah. And yeah. so that's why I always, I wrote my newsletter about having the proper intention and plan. I don't know if you saw my mm -hmm. last newsletter. Yeah. 
I talked about, like it needs to have such so profound intention and execution of a plan. Yeah. Because you can't count on it. Autism is one in 27 in the state of California. Like, I'm sorry, the writing's on the wall. You need to be so proactive on a spiritual, emotional, and physical level. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I you know. And so, and you can, it can, you can have a natural miracle. You can, right? But you do today. Today's world, you can't live reactively. You need to prepare yourself. And when we know, everybody reads the statistics, it's, you know, bombarded every day. And so we have to say, okay, how? We need to be in reflective mode and say, how do I, how do I make myself better today? Because we're not perfect. And there's always something you could have been doing better. Like, Even if you try to be perfect, it's impossible. Well, it's never a world. goal. You know? No, yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, I look at these toxic burdens and like, I haven't had a piece of inorganic food in like a decade, but somehow still glyphosate is getting into my labs, much lower than other people's, but it's like airborne. It's just like, it's everywhere. Well, that's what I tell patients every day is yeah. I tell them like, it's everywhere. Okay. So, so, and no matter how good you are, you're going to be exposed to. Yeah. So that's why you just de develop a counterprotective universe. You know, whether it's, you know, infrared sauna, whether it's a bath, or, you know, and mentally you gotta bless what you're doing because that is profound, right? So, because we're, it's inescapable because there's 8 billion people. It's not the 300 and some odd million that live in the United States. It's the 8 billion people in the world and whatever's going on in India, Africa, and China is happening here. For example, China burns coal. The number one byproduct of coal is mercury. And so, I mean, this is reality. So we just have to, you know, the, the animals use the earth to cleanse themselves. So that's why we give clay baths to mm -hmm. our patients because clay is used in nature. So if you mimic nature and, you know, unfortunately I know there's lots of unhealthy things in nature now, but I think everyone has to just kind of do the things is avoid the toxin to begin with. Yeah. Whatever, if it's your cleaning materials, your soap, your toilet paper, your water, everything, right? Literally everything. Everything yeah. and just really be Your couch, your as, floor, your wall, right, your bed. Yeah. Exactly, your bed. You sleep on a bed every, you know, it's eight hours, third of your life. So it needs to be, you know, an incredibly, you know, you gotta have an organic bed and everything. So, but those are the things you should be focusing and concentrating is creating your own health sanctuary. Yeah. And do the best you can, because there's no s such thing as like perfect, because your body does have the secret to, to help. It does have that constant buffering that it does on a mm -hmm. regular basis. And so IOenergetic is your acupuncture meridians, finding like today you probably did mead. Yep. So that was checking your voltage of your body. Every one of your cells has 0.07 millivolts of energy. So your whole body together over 50 trillion cells has billion volts of energy. Mm -hmm. And so when you do an EKG, you're looking at the electrical assessment of your heart. If you do an EEG, it's an electrical assessment of your waves of energy in your brain. Mm -hmm. If you assess the nervous system, it's all about the nerve conduction is all about the energy. Yeah. So every cell emits photonic energy. And so, and then, you know, every cell is its own energy universe. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. And so, so energy precedes action. Mm -hmm. And so I am trying to capture the energy of a patient because that's how I prevent disease. Yeah. Because People come here for human optimization, how not to get sick. Yeah. And then I have this stage four cancer patients, Yeah. right? So 
if you don't have energy, you have no life. Yeah. So energy is supplying the voltage to your body on a 24 seven basis. And how do people inc increase the energy? So you can ground every day. Mm -hmm. So you ground on the ocean with or dirt or the trees or the grass. So grounding every day is an amazing way of using the Earth's magnetic field. Then essential oils are very good to okay. utilize. What are your favorite ones? Uh, well, I use, a, I use, we have like a little, for, for the energy, we have a special little four oils that we use. I need to pick and, up before I leave. And then, then if you're really very sick, then I would recommend a biomodulator or a PMF device. So I personally use a biomodulator almost every day. Mm -hmm. And so, so it has programs in it. It's, it's, it has little programs and then I set all the programs and I do that almost every day. On the weekends, I go to the beach, but during the week, I don't have time to necessarily go to the beach. So mm -hmm. I will do the biomodulator while I'm having a meeting. And so PMF, like I said, pulsed electromagnetic fields will also help. How much time per day do you think? On well, PMF? my session takes a grand total of maybe 30, well, what I do takes about 30 minutes. Okay, while I'm doing something else, because I'm always doing something else in Tampa. <laughs> um, and all of these negative inputs, you know, the toxins, the food, the lack of movement, that's stealing our energy. Yeah. Right? So that's like, if you think of it as like a, you know, me meter, it's yeah, like so you get here and it's just yeah, stealing so, it. So you get electrons. So, so everything negative is stealing your electrons. Yeah. All right. So how do you fix that? With nutrition, minerals especially, because electrolytes are electrical energy. So you, and most everyone needs minerals. Yeah. Okay, then you need the vitamins, but you gotta have the minerals to activate the vitamins. Then you talk about all the toxins, they're stealing your electrons. Yeah. The bugs are stealing your electrons and most people have viruses, most people have fungus, most people have parasites. Yeah. Probably because our electrical energy isn't that good. So we, we don't have the energy to fight everything because we have too many assaults on the mitochondria. All right, Dr. Keneally, thank you so much for having me. It's been amazing and I love everything you're doing. Oh, thank mm -hmm. you. Good to see you. Yes, nice to see you.